what is up you guys it is parker here with deco exchange y'all we've got another great tutorial out today and i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel like the video down below and at the very least y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think hope you enjoy that dog so, is cute i up. really like this um fucking horse rocking horse but i want to put an arrangement right on top of it now you could put a little doll or something on it or you could set him in an arrangement but i want to add something right on top of him We've been eyeballing this all day long, knowing he was going to do something. So we all had ideas, and he would give us the death stare, like, "No, you don't. No, friends, you, you think don't." You have an idea, but I got yeah, he idea. was like, "No." We knew that was Jordan's rocking horse. As soon as it came in, he eyeballed that. It's so mine. Cute. That ribbon is some of my very favorite too. And like I said, if you know me, you know I'm all about Christmas. He's really excited about this one. I think we all are. I think we just need Christmas in the middle of the year because it makes you so joyful and happy. I think yes. everybody needs Christmas in July. Where did you get the rocking horse? Uh, we got it. What? Where did we get that? In a D stash. Yeah, it was it was a D stash. But I've seen like these at Hobby Lobby. And was that part of Roxanne's stuff? Yes. Oh, we did get it in a D stash. So Roxanne, if you're watching, that's your old horse. So amazing, though. So all I did was I made a bow, and I'm just gonna chop up this stem. So y'all, this was one of those little mini um, candle rings from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so what I did with that little candle ring was it's essentially six little picks wired together and taped together. But I want this to kind of be seen from both sides. So if someone has it on a coffee table, whatever's on this side is going to be on this side. Like so algebra. I, what you do to one side, you're doing to the next. So I split it in half, and now it's going to sit right in that bow right side and on the left side. So I'm just taking some glue. Don't press any buttons. Just oh, I'm not. I'm pretty generous with my glue. I'm laying that right in the middle of that Done. bow. So smell. Jordan did not go to floral school. He is all self-taught. Jordan is all self-taught. He's a master genius. <laughs> master. Okay, so you see I put some on this side and some on that side. Those bells make me really happy. And next I'm just going to take these, this stem, and I'm just going to cut it up into smaller pieces. And every time that horse rocks back and forth, it's going to jingle. Uh -huh. So fun. <laughs> That's if I don't glue it. If I don't glue the bell down. Completely. No! <laughs> don't glue the bell down! Where did you get the ball candle rings at, Jordan? Hobby Lobby. Actually... Damon bought those at Hobby Lobby. Because he knows how much I love a ball garland. Nope, he glued the bow straight down to, he tied the bow to the rocking horse and he's gluing everything else. There's yeah. no piece of foam in there. Nope. No foam whatsoever. You had one, but he decided not to use it. Eva, Eva. <laughs> What'd she say? What'd he say? Damon said that's debatable. Ha! 
this point because it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. There you go. I love the poinsettia. It's so big you can see it from both sides. Um, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Under 15 minutes, you guys. <laughs>